Hi friends, my name is Christina Grozik and I'm with a documentary called Going Ohm, which is a journey about sound and we are hoping that it will inspire people to consider their relationship with sound. And in the spirit of sound, the discussions continue. So sound is everything, right? Energy is everything. And the more we know about it, the better off that we may all be potentially. So today we have very special guests. We have Andrew Borakov with us from Gongs Unlimited. So Andrew, hello and welcome. Thank you for being here today. Hello. How are you? Great. How are you? Good. Very good. Good, good. So um, thank you for taking the time out. And I know, you know, there's a lot going on there. So to honor your time today, we'll, we'll try to keep it short for you. Um, so your journey with sound is really fascinating. So you were pursuing one path and you decided, well, you know, maybe this path isn't for me. You did a meditation and this brought you to the world of gongs. Will you tell us a little bit about that? Sure. It was many, many years ago, probably about 2004, and I had two very, very young children. And I'd been working in Hollywood, oh, probably 20 years. And it was uh, up and down at that point. And I was like, you know, I, it was just real simple. I was like meditating and praying and going, I need to sell something on the internet so I could get out of Hollywood. And one day I'm just sitting there at the beach. And this is before people knew what gongs were really. But I was just meditating. There was a giant gong that started floating in front of me. And I was like, Okay, I'll sell gongs. I'll sell gongs in here. It doesn't make much sense, but I'll try it. I'll learn how to do the internet. In 2004, it was just learning how to do the internet. Okay. Um, I remember teaching friends how to uh, attach a file at that point. That's how early it was. So I just started doing it. There wasn't a lot happening back then. We did research, and along the way, Gongs Unlimited was born, and we just kept growing. It was, a, it was um, back in the early days, it was really hard to find gongs or to get them approach. But um, as I as I mentioned before, at the beginning, it wasn't necessarily a, a sound healing journey or a spiritual journey. Though I've had I had 20 years of that background of spiritual healing behind me when I started it, hence my meditation on the beach and then seeing that. But within a few years, as things got more grounded, um, and things, we started getting a lot of people contacting us about whether for gongs for yoga, gongs for sound healing, all that stuff and it just it was really easy for me to shift into that because that was actually my actual background i really wasn't a business person i was a spiritual healer who was like looking how do i make money to support my family and so it was kind of fortuitous it was kind of um one could say guided because i didn't i didn't know what i was getting into but about a few years into it, i'm like oh this is why you have me selling gone so i could help the healers that are coming along so that's kind of how we fell into it yeah. And I mean that, like, what an extraordinary journey and thank goodness that you listened to that meditation. You were able yeah. to quiet the mind enough to receive that because I mean, back in 2004, 2005, many people weren't doing this. Right. And yeah. to, say know, the word chakra, to say the word chakra or grounded was, um, was kind of, you had to explain everything, you know, then all of a sudden like, Oh, people are talking about grounding and being grounded in common conversations or chakras or, becoming that way so it was really um it was kind of nice it was kind of like you know like when you i've been running this race and i'm not a lot of people running with me and all of a sudden oh look there's a giant gaggle of people oh great now i have someone to talk to you know <laughs> so yeah. it was, it's been fun what a giant leap of faith and i'm so glad yeah. that you you know you picked that path for sure because I'll, I'll tell you i mean i've i've purchased so many things from you guys and you guys offer so many interesting tools and I love the variety that you have and just, you know, and I also love the website. It's, you've got all these really fun approaches to things and I really appreciate that. So I know you guys on the site have the world's happiest gong sellers. And I just yeah. think that's so much fun and probably accurate. Well, yeah. Well, well, you know, I started out as a comedy writer um, and then, got in, but it was also kind of like, I always tell my employees here, look at what we're doing. We, we are so lucky because we're not in a really, intense situation i am so grateful for physicians or pilots or people that do very intense jobs or anything like that we're lucky enough i used to go like we're the condiment in the universal plate here we're just making gods you know we're just selling gods we're selling healing you know so why not be happy and then also we can get our own we can get our own so we really try to like not look at this as a competitive sport of business not look at it as a um we've got to 
we're, we're making the world perfect through healing. We're just trying to help people. And we have all sorts, you know, we'll get, that's the nice thing about it by being kind of open and, and happy. And, and I've had um, many um, people come through here, God, man, your employees are generally really happy and having a good time. I'm like, yeah, because I would, my other thought is like, this is maybe coming from my Capricorn background, but it's always like, you have, everyone has to work. We all have to do something for the most part to survive. So why not have it be mellow and fun while you're doing it? I mean, it doesn't have to be stupid or crazy or lackadaisical, but you know, why not just have some fun? So we are, we're the happiest Don selves. We're happy to be selling Don's. Well, I think- and everything else, everything else, we do have a lot. We've really tried to, I really tried to focus on where I see other types of sound healing coming from. So I kind of look at it as like, we're almost kind of like a sound healing unlimited. We really try to keep that, that sense open. We're always looking for how are people using instruments? How can we use these instruments? You know, that kind of stuff. So what would you say some of the benefits of, you know, um, using these different tools would be for someone? Well, you know, there's a lot, I think there's, there's many things. There's, um, there's obviously the physical stress relief. There's, um, there are many other types of physical manifestations. Here, but I also, I always like to talk about the spiritual level of healing that comes with it too, because sound is this kind of, I don't want to say ethereal, it's wrong, but it's, it's, it's not a desk, right? It's not pure light. We can feel the vibrations. You stand in front of a gun and feel them. So it's this interesting um, thread that connects the spirit to the material, the soul to the body. So to me, the benefits are, it, it can make you more aware of yourself as spirit, make you more spiritually aware, make more sight, it can, it, can, it can ground you, it can put you into trance. So many you know, people have used it. It's, 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 a, it's a tool for not only healing your mind and your soul, but also you know, um, creating alternate you know, spaces as well ultimate, you know, trances, whatever you want to call it. So it kind of, it, if I'm assessing this correctly, so it can open up some spaces for new opportunities and things to come in and then yeah. you fill those spaces with things that are maybe more in line with your higher purpose. Yeah. I mean, if you, if you want to think that we all have auras, we all have chakras, and they all are loaded with different pieces of stuff, not always us. They could be stuck energies. You're not, you're not this perfect drawing that they show you on the internet. You're loaded with all kinds of muck. So if all of a sudden the sound, the energy, and it's an energy you could feel, you could put your hands together and you could start to feel energy, right? You could put your hands in. So if, if the sound could help wash away some of the stuff and actually help you create a new space, new opportunities, yeah. Um, a really basic way is how people go, oh, my favorite song, that's my jam, I'm feeling good, right? They get it in their body and maybe when they're dancing a little bit, it cleans out some of the, the, the energies that were punishing them or not making them feel good. But on a, on a more healing level, it can focus on different things. If you're, in a, if you're like, I'm going to relax and get the sound healing, it can really start to loosen things up. Yeah, it's, it's kind of like one of those things. It's like when someone tells you like, oh, you need to find this space, right? You can tell somebody and describe what that space is. But until they can actually experience it for themselves, it's harder to really wrap your head around that concept of what that space may be. And I think for me, I know at least when I started on my wellness journey, you know, everybody was telling me, oh, you need to meditate, quiet the mind, sit there in stillness. Mm -hmm. And, you know, my background's like logistics coordination. So that was really hard to do. Yes, constant. Oh, did you do this? Oh, are you, maybe you're not wearing the right clothing. It's still happening. Oh, did you need, did you have to burn incense? What did they say again? You know, and just chat, chat, chat. And it's like, ah, the sound is what introduced me. And it was that entry point for me to find the silence. That's what brought me. There was the sound, you know. I, I used to tell people, this used to be one of my lines about 10 years ago when they were first getting, when people were getting into it, like, why do I need this? I go, well, here, I'll explain to you. When I was a kid, because I'm old, I could walk home from school and I didn't have a phone. I didn't have all that stuff. So I'd walk home and I would just be walking home and I would hear, I'd have to be with my own thoughts and I would hear. But now we have so much noise from our phones, our computers, our demands. You actually need sound to get to the silence in your space. You need the sound to clean out the other noise. And then you can get, then you can find your inner voice and your inner voice, what 
what you have in your divine center is what's going to guide you to where you need to go or get you to the truth of your life. You know? So it's funny, but it's like sound to clean out noise, but it's true. Yeah, I love that so much. I love that so much. Well, let me ask you, what are what are some of your favorite sounds? What are those sounds when you hear them? Just this wave comes over you and it's like all is right in the world at this moment. Like from the instruments or from just in general? It, it could be nature sounds, instruments, it could be anything. Okay. Well, I do like I do like a big gong. You know, a big gong, I just a deep tone. I'm like, ah oh, yes. But, you know, I also love, you know, if I hear, like, you know, I like, I like beautiful church bells, too. You know, I, I like the bells. And if I go out, it's interesting, because I'd say, if I'm just standing, I love to stand out in the middle. I mean, we're here in Lincoln, Nebraska, which is, if you're wondering where the middle of nowhere is, we're just to the left of that. Um, and we, um, but we ship to all the coasts very quickly. So um, <laughs> that's why we're here. But... <laughs> I, um, I'll go out into a field and if I just hear the wind whispering through the grass and then I hear some birds, not really annoying geese, I'm not into the annoying geese, but you know, that kind of stuff, that's very soothing. Or of course, for many years I lived on the coast and I just, the, the ocean was going to do, the ocean's always going to do. Yeah. Okay, so, yeah, awesome. Kind of I'm sorry, what was the last part? Those are those kind of sounds. Okay. Gotcha, thank you. Um, what are some of the ways we've talked about quieting the mind and using sound to do that? What are some of the ways that you, I mean, you work at a place where there's sound everywhere all day, right? And sounds that are used by other people to help um, create this pathway for healing. So what are some of the sounds that you use or what are some of the techniques or modalities that you use to find that stillness within yourself? Well, you know, if, if I do have a lot of noise in my head, I will go and play a gong for a little bit. But for me, a lot of it's just my, my, my history since the, pretty much the mid eighties of doing meditation, spiritual healing and that kind of stuff. I just kind of, I'm going to ground. I'm going to find the center of my head. I'm going to start grounding the energy out that isn't mine and my aura, my body, my chakras and start to calm myself back. A lot of times people can't keep going. Like, you know, if you're a, log you're a logistics person or something on a movie, Part of your energy is over there making sure that that person's right. Another part's over there. It's like, is the equipment going to be over here? So you're, you're all over the place. So part of it is just like, I'll imagine like myself in the center head, I'll imagine all my energy come back to me and I'll, I'll get it in the present time and bring it back. So the less I'm out there, and it's, it's going to happen anyway. I've got, I'm worried about things happening in China with gongs or Thailand. And so I, my attention will go there. So I bring my attention back. And then if your attention, like, then you can go, oh, these 15 problems I had. Maybe one, maybe there's only one I have to solve. I'll just let the other 14 go. So part of it is getting yourself back home. This is your aura, your body is your stuff. And that's where you need to get back to. You know? Awesome. Awesome. Very so good. If sound helps bring you home, that's great. You know, it's like you're always strongest. You're always more certain when you're when you're here inside your body, inside your head, inside your heart. You're not stronger over there trying to control someone. It doesn't work. Yeah, I think um, personally, I think finding that space, finding that space and being able to tap into that space, that's almost a superpower of sorts. You know, it's so it takes practice. It takes practice. That's why I say what sound, I don't know if I mentioned this, but what I found sound healing and sound has really helped for this whole new group of generation or whatever people are using is it's making spirit real. And until you make it real, then it's all just, I'm talking about it. Oh, maybe it is. Oh, I think it is. You know, maybe that exists. But when you experience it, not that you always want to have to experience it in your body real, but once you experience it, once you're like, oh, it is real. And then that that is a beautiful, important moment in anyone's life if they didn't just grow up with it being that way, where they be, oh, it is real. What do I want to do with it now that, it, that I notice that, you know? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. So someone coming into this that may, this may be completely new to them in terms of like what a gong is or a singing bowl or like breath work or, yeah. you know, finding stillness. Do you have any recommendations on practices that they can do in their everyday life to tap into that space? Right. I think I, there, there are many different modalities that work for anyone. So I'm not going to, I don't judge any modalities because I'm kind of like, well, that's interesting. If it works for you. 
the trick is you start five minutes a day. You have to do 10 minutes a day. I would always start and because then it becomes more real. And, and also don't try to be perfect at it. Don't try to be perfect at whatever you're doing. It's never gonna work then because what you think is perfect because you maybe saw your teacher do something is not right. You know, I always love how the yoga teachers, it's changed a lot since the mid eighties when I took it in LA. And it was always like, you have to be perfect because it was the eighties and you have to look perfect there. And now they're like, what are you feeling inside? What do you like? It doesn't matter what the out. it's like, it's the same thing. So two people who could have someone looking awkward or not the perfect yoga body, but they're getting a tremendous out of, thing out of it versus the person who was a gymnast and it's not a big deal for them to stretch. So the same, you can't be perfect, but if you find something that works for you, practice it every day for just a little bit and then it becomes more real. And it's the thing, it becomes more real. And then maybe you go, oh, I'm gonna add this. So maybe you start, you live in a little apartment. I'm like, just gonna get my little singing bowl. I'm gonna give myself five minutes. I'm gonna do my breath work in my singing bowl. Okay, now I can go on with my day. And then you find like, oh, I'd like to do that 10 minutes in the morning and 10 minutes at night and whatever. Or then you go, not just seem, I, I, I went to this gone bath or I went to this, you know, breath work or I went to this, you know, whatever it is. Whatever, I, went to, I went to an ayahuasca party, whatever it is you did, it's gonna keep, you're gonna, and don't be afraid of the muck you're gonna, release. We're, we're, we spend so much of our energy keeping it down. That's the great thing about sound. Sounds like, oh, you got muck? We have one gong we used to say, wasn't a meditation gong, it was a gong to release muck. It's going to be the stuff that I always used to sell to, to the sound healer. It was like, I'd go, I go, if you are doing a lot of healing with people and you want to have them experience the healing, get this kind of gong. I remember when someone was selling, I bought, someone had bought it in United Kingdom. And they'd used it for about three or four years and they were moving on to some other gongs. I saw the ad for it, they were selling on Facebook and they go, we call this one the dredger because they were dredging up stuff. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. so I was like very pleased with that. I was like, thank you. Cause they got how to use that one. But it's like, it's, it's the first couple of times it's coming real. It's like, it's so enthusiastic. Like, oh my God, energy's real. And I felt it and I feel better, you know? And then you're going to do something then you hit something like, Oh, that part where my dad used to invalidate me and tell me I was a piece of crap because I didn't do this. That's going to come out one day and you're going to be like, I don't want to look at it. I don't want to deal with it. You know, but you've got to go through it because what's underneath that is freedom and more space. Yeah, I love the way you just said, I love the way you just said that. Yeah, because you have to go through it. Yeah, you can't just it doesn't have to be, it doesn't have to be the most horrible thing. It right. doesn't have to be um, like, oh my God, I'm going to have to lay on my bed for three days because my dad once told me that I wasn't a good singer or something like that, you know, and he said, okay, it happened. And you just kind of, but now I'm, now I'm 35. I'm not seven. So the 30, I'll just make that little seven year old go, Oh, okay. It's okay to release that. Dad was just in a bad mood that day. He, he loved me, but he just was cranky mood, you know? So. Yeah. So, yeah. It's so a magical kind of moment that. when that happens. And it's interesting because yeah. when you do sound as the practitioner and you are doing um, you know, the, the work in terms of playing the tools and creating yeah. a space, right? But it's really the person's job, the participant to do the work of letting things go. Yeah. And you, you know, I, I'll get calls afterwards sometimes, and I'm sure you can speak on this too. You probably get a ton of ton of calls and inquiries about this but someone will you know I'll, I'll do a session and someone will contact me later i have the worst headache i've ever had or my arm keeps twitching and what did you do to me and i'm like take embrace that moment you know if it gets too serious then please go seek medical attention yeah, exactly. you're releasing something so tell me how you feel a week from now yeah you know? yeah. yeah so don't fight, it. don't fight it just say hello to it you know yeah just say hello to it. oh it's coming out Blah. <laughs> Yeah. 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 So yeah, it's kind of like a, a river or a stream flowing through you and it collects debris and then there's like, you know, it gets stuck. So you got to yeah. release that debris in order for it to flow again. Yeah. Yes. And it's always, there's always, if you ask for help, if you, ask, if you are conscious enough to be in a spiritual, I need help releasing this helpful time. You know, it, it always, is. that's the one thing a lot of, I was talking briefly about this earlier, but a lot of um, sound healers, don't always take the next step to notice that they're spiritual healers. And they may say it in name, but what does that really mean? It means you're working with spirit. That flow you just talked about, that, that you know, the sound flow that's going through is also guided with spiritual energy and beating. So always know if you're setting up, to, if you're 
just getting yourself centered as a sound here. And like, I'm going to do this beautiful healing for 10 people or 12 people a day. And if, just know the, the, the healing guides, the healing angels, that whatever you want, if you ask them to come help, they will help. And then they're going to use the sound to put healing energy through. And that will help it not get stuck for the people, unless they're stuck. Sometimes it's like, I can't let this go. I had a horrible experience. That's okay. The energy is not going to force it out. You can't force it, out, but it can work. Maybe it's got that picture. Maybe it wasn't a horrible experience, but you called it a horrible experience. So you put another picture on top of it that said, because it, it might've just been some guy cut you off and you nearly got into an accident on the highway, but it was a horrible experience. I almost died, right? So you're holding on to it. So it's, it, but the spiritual energy will, will go through as well. So. Because we're truly alone. Yeah. on our journey yeah, yeah we just yeah. have to ask some guy sometimes yeah. they're there to help they want to help they want to but you got to ask you yeah. got to ask that's the one thing i've learned all these years is i used to be like oh i got this one note from god i'm gonna go take care of it for four years and just do it and not talk again and then i you know god or the angel like no talk to us every day we want to help we're not you know and that's you can do that with all of your sound healing practice how are you how are you feeling you know talk to the thing i male, female, it doesn't matter the balance, whatever, whatever the, the healer is comfortable with, that doesn't really matter, you know, and you say the word God, and people, oh, I've got all these things from my ancient time in the Catholic church, I'm like, yeah, call it supreme being, call it creator, call it divine force, whatever you're comfortable with, that's, that's really, call it Allah, call it Sororas, I don't know what, you know, it doesn't really, that doesn't matter, you know what you're tuning into. Sure. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. So let me ask you this, how do you think sound will be used in the future? Well, as I've, I, I've mentioned before, I, I said, I really, sometimes I think we're such like, like medieval um, blood letters at this point with sound, like it's going to get more and more um, useful and, and, and um, vibrations is going to be part of who we are as we become more vibrational as human beings, as opposed to we are stuck bodies, we are big pieces, and this is all real as we take our steps up you're going to see things, whether it's like, you know, I always mentioned Royal Life and how he started to work on vibrational stuff and things. So we're finding ultrasound now they can focus it and blast out tumors. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's a very specific type of thing, but I think you're going to see, um, right now, let, right now, this is what I find. There are a lot of people getting remarkable, remarkable results doing healings, like you are, you are in that kind of stuff. And, I, and they want to codify because they go, I know something's happening. I know I've healed these people. And so, we're codifying it with things like, well, this chakra is this color, or this vibration does this or that. And it isn't, it's the right direction, but it isn't necessarily always true. And then so it becomes a group thing until it gets ungrouped. So I think we will see that stuff more and more. And I think it's, so it's a mixture of it will work more on medical issues. And, but then when you start talking about mental or psychological issues, when you start talking about spiritual issues, it's less, it, it's not always going to be 432 hertz does this exactly. It's that we're not going to see that, but we're going to find more information. Like that's like kind of like when they said, I think there's something that's like when before Louis Pasteur figured out that you had to pasteurize things, they were like, there's some little thing there causing problems, but we're not sure. You know? So I think what's great is we're at the beginning and like 100 years from now, 200 years from now, they're going to look back at this section of time as pioneers and of, of the of not of atlantis pioneers of our modern you know so that's what i kind of see yeah i love that thank you thank you very much is there anything you would like to add andrew you know just you know healers make sure you take care of yourselves too you know make, make sure you take care of yourselves and be open to even greater healings there are you can create greater things if you if you kind of are open that it's not you doing it, right? You know, as you're aware, it's a sound flowing and these people, if you're aware that it's not doing, you're like, oh, I'm working with higher vibrations, mm -hmm. then you'll be open to greater healings and go, oh, it wasn't even me, I helped. I don't have to put it on me, like I was so great, you know, just doing it, you know? Every time I get out of my way, better things happen. Yeah. <laughs> yes, yes, I could not agree with you more. Absolutely, yeah, yeah absolutely. I when people, um, you know, if they come up after and say, "Oh, well, what you did," and I'm like, "You know what? I didn't do it. Yeah. I'm here, but that wasn't me." So, yeah, yeah it's uh, I don't take that for granted at all. 
So yeah. yeah, that's such a great reminder. And it's such a great reminder for people to take care of themselves too, so they can give, you know, yeah. give, yeah. So yeah. Like, heal or heal thyself. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. All right. Well, thank you so much. And for anyone that's like, oh, I'm not familiar with Gongs Unlimited yet. How can they find more about you? We're on the internet. Um, and if we have a lot of, we have a blog that has a lot of interesting stuff in it too. We have some healings in the blog, like video healings. Um, but also, and if you're like, hey, I, we try to answer a lot of questions. So the thing is, if you've got a basic question, like, what's a good gong for a beginner that lives in an apartment? We're going to answer that. You're like, you're like oh, how do I, what are the, like, we're here to answer questions. That's all we do. We answer questions and help people. And that's why we kind of stay kind of happy because we're just trying to help you take the next step. That's all it is, you know? Yeah, you guys, so find, find us on the internet and then there'll be ways to contact us. We're, the one thing, we're not always fast on the phone. We're faster on e email. Just remember that. We're faster on email. Okay. <laughs> yeah, but so helpful every time. I know yeah. I'm a question asker in case you haven't noticed, but yeah, yeah. Um, so helpful every single time. So yeah, thank you so much for everything that you're doing and for everything that your team's doing as well. It's very cool. appreciated. Well, thank you very much and continue continue honoring. Success to you. Thank you. Thank All you. Right. I appreciate right. it. Okay. Bye-bye. Right. Bye-bye.